Social Security recipients disregard it. Let me know if you collect SSI, SSDI, any of the Social Security fixed income benefits that roll in from the government. If you feel like you've been forgotten and that you're not receiving enough, well, I'm here to let you know that if you feel that way, you're not alone. A lot of people have vocalized this to me and take a look. You're justified according to this article coming out today. Average Social Security retirement benefit fell short by 46% in 2022. Nearly half of the needs of those collecting these benefits, they don't have enough money for it. Here are the costs that went up the most and wait till you see these charts. This is absolutely incredible what you're gonna see. And like I said, I've had a lot of people ask me about this information saying that they feel like they're falling short and I gotta let you know, you're not alone. Now, stick around with me till the end. I'm also gonna be sharing with you some important information about the COLA increase coming. But also, in addition to that, we have had promises from the federal government of increases for Social Security benefits. We had heard that there would be an additional $200 per month to all Social Security recipients. That would be on top of our current benefits and also the COLA increases, that this was gonna be coming. We had heard that this was promised. Then we heard that it was gonna happen before the end of the year. Then child tax credits came to the forefront, which we've heard have not been included in the omnibus bill either. And these are spilling over into 2020. 23. Well, take a look. Some people have not lost hope. Martha Shedden holds out hope for Social Security 2100 bill, urges caution and reform. And they're saying that this needs to get done. We're going to be running out for the solvency. They need to expand and enhance the benefits, change the entire system. And we're hearing that Senator Joe Manchin has said that if there's one thing that they can get done, that they can agree upon, it is reform for the entire system. Now, the 2100 Act, that is one of several pieces of legislation that have hit as they're proposing making these changes and enhancements. And take a look at this one. DeFazio, Bernie Sanders, they introduce legislation to expand and strengthen Social Security. This is the Social Security Expansion Act that increases benefits by $200 per month, extends the solvency, changes it, does all the things that we had mentioned. There are several, there are three that I've covered in detail. Stick around to the end. I'm going to be sharing with you more information about Social Security that you need to know. But let's dive into these charts so you can see it for yourself and know that you are not alone if you feel like your Social Security benefits are not keeping up with the pace of the cost of living and inflation. Now, before we dive in, do me a quick favor. If you appreciate the updates, don't forget, smash the like button for me. Just takes a second, helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. Hit subscribe to stay up to date. It's totally free. I'll let you know everything going on with Social Security, Congress, stimulus, our economy, so that way you know what's available to you. Uh, and with that being said, let's go ahead and dive right in. So link in the description below to this article that just came out today. I always cite the sources, put them on the screen, read right from them, so that way you know it's the latest. And it's says, amid record high inflation, stretching Social Security benefit checks became more difficult in 2022. Even as a 5.9% cost of living adjustment went into effect in January, the record high annual benefit increase still fell short. According to new research from the Senior Citizens League, the average retiree benefit increased to $1,656.30 in 2022 from $1,564 in 2021, a monthly boost of $92.30, according to the nonpartisan seniors group. Yet in every month this year, a big bigger increase was needed to keep up with the soaring costs due to inflation, research found. Now, the average retiree benefits fell short by an average of $42.35 per month, or 46%, the research found. Now, over the course of the year, that added up to $508.20, where they fell short with benefits. Now, take a look. Social Security 5.9% cost of living adjustment for 2022 didn't keep up with inflation. The average monthly retirement benefit was up $92 from the previous year, but that increase was not enough to cover the rising prices. And here you can see uh, December 2021, 7.8% year over year inflation. Amount needed to keep up with inflation would have been an extra $122. That fell short by $30 monthly shortfall despite the 2022 cost of living adjustment. And you can see January 8.2%, February 8.6%, March 9.4%, the biggest one was in June, 9.8% where they fell short by $61. And you can see the 12 month average was that inflation was at 8.6%. They fell short $42. Uh, on average every single month. And they needed about $135 to keep up 
with inflation absolutely staggering to see that social security's annual cost of living adjustment or cola is based on the consumer price index for urban wage earners and clerical workers or cpiw and this is one of the modifications they want to make they're saying this should be based on CPIE and the needs of those that are collecting these benefits, not clerical workers or wage earners. The annual change is calculated based on the index's average for the third quarter, which is compared to the third quarter average for the previous year. Now, the 5.9% annual increase for 2022 was the highest bump to beneficiaries in 40 years when it was announced in October of 2021. And in January, this upcoming year, beneficiaries can expect to see even a higher increase at 8.7% that will top last year's uh, records. However, is that going to be enough or are we going to experience even more an aggressive inflation? We will see you guys. Now, here is the fastest growing cost for households of ages 65 and older. So they're saying this should be the priority for this category. Year over year percentage of change in consumer price index as of October 2022. Number one is home heating oil, 68%. Number two is airfare, 42.9%. Three, flour and pre-made mixes, 24.6%. Number four, health insurance, including premiums and out-of-pocket costs, 20.6%. Number five, natural gas, 20%. Six, oil change plus coolant, 19.1%. Seven, canned fruits and vegetables, 18.7%. Number eight, soups, 17%. Number nine, turkey, 16.9%. And number 10, pet food at 15%. Yet as inflation outpaced the COLA for 2022, every single month households ages 65 and up found it more difficult to pay for everyday items. And here's a quote that says, even the simplest of foods are harder to afford because they're saying that they can't keep up with inflation. Now for the low income retiree who has spent down their retirement savings, absorbing those higher costs may be particularly difficult, she noticed. Medicare Part B also saw higher increases in 2022 with the standard premium going up by 14.5% to $170.10 per month. Those monthly premiums are typically deducted directly from Social Security checks. As 2023 approaches, Social Security beneficiaries will be poised to see more of a record at 8.7% that goes into effect as standard Medicare Part B premiums decline by 3% to $164.90. The good news is people are realizing 100% of the 8.7% lift. The average retiree benefit will go up by $146 per month to $1,827 in 2023 from the 1681 in 2022. And the Social Security Administration said this back in October, this is higher than the average retirement benefit amount from January that the Senior Citizen League used in its calculations. And the average retiree benefit tends to change throughout the year as new beneficiaries start receiving benefits. Now the agency is currently sending statements to beneficiaries that include the exact amounts of their increases for the year. Now, I had mentioned this in a previous video. You're gonna be receiving a letter. Do not throw it away. You need to hold on to that. It's very important. Now, the COLA is going to boost their benefits really by a record amount, he said. This is the biggest one that most retirees alive today have ever received. Just how far that extra money goes next year will depend, as I mentioned, on how inflation fares in the coming months. If higher prices subside, that may point to a lower cost of living adjustment for 2024, said Johnson. An exact measurement will be based on the CPIW data for the third quarter of next year. And they're saying they need to change that to the CPIE. And we're going to be seeing if any of these pieces of legislation come through that will modify that and make it more suited to help out those who need these benefits. Now, as we enter into 2023, the Biden administration said there is four major changes that they want to make and implement. And I've shared with you three different proposals that have hit to make modifications. Uh, so as there's more development on these, we're hearing this is going to be coming up in 2023. I will be sure to share with you here on the channel. Now, in addition to that, as I mentioned, it is very important that you receive that letter regarding your COLA increase in the mail. Hold on to it. Make a copy of it. Do not lose it. It is extremely important. And if you have not seen that video or you have not received it yet, check right here for the latest details about the arrival, all the information, the scenarios for which you might need that. So keep an eye out for that letter. Check out this video right after this one. Smash the like button if you haven't already. Subscribe to stay up to date and I'll catch you in the next video. Take care. God bless. This is Steve.